So, so today's event, I think, arises out of um, a rather simple but actually very exciting idea. And that is uh, that it is possible to bring together the NHS, industry, academia, and the public to work together to make a significant difference to a major societal health problem. And the concept of bringing the sectors together in this way is, is both very attractive, but also potentially very powerful. And all of you, by virtue of being in the room today, have a fantastic opportunity to join this movement. One of the drivers for taking this approach, and one of the reasons for thinking this way, has been the formation, the creation of the Northwest Coast Academic Health Science Network. So that raises two questions. The first is, what is the Northwest Coast? And essentially, it's a geography that stretches from South Cumbria, through Lancashire, through Merseyside, and most of Cheshire. Population of about 4.1 million people, nine universities. And it's a footprint for innovation and research around health. So lots of structures, lots of networks, whether they're NHS or National Institute of Health Research, are built upon that footprint. So that's where we are. We're, we're in an area now that has an infrastructure to develop and deliver research and innovation. And the second question is, what is the Academic Health Science Network, or the AHSN, as, it, as it's called? Well, essentially, the AHSNs were set up ab about two or so years ago by NHS England to drive innovation into healthcare. So there are 15 of these across England, and as I say, we are in the northwest coast. And one of the purposes of these networks is to bring together all of the sectors and all the stakeholders that can work together to drive innovation. So it's not just the usual NHS university partnerships we're talking about here. It's engagement with industry, it's engagement with local councils, it's engagement with the public, with patients, the third sector, because it's recognised at last that actually you need to have all of those pieces in place if you're going to make it work. And amongst other things, the, the HSNs house lots of knowledge about state-of-the-art stuff. So we know a lot about what is possible, what, what is state-of-the-art in terms of treatments, technologies, and ways of working. And our role is to enable, inform, and drive the use of all that when we're thinking about redesigning services, um, creating new facilities for health. So, of course, we want the Northwest Coast to be the go-to place across the world for health innovation. We want to be really good at formulating new ideas, getting the knowledge behind those ideas, getting the innovations into practice, and then using that information to form new ideas, a circle. And we should think that way. There's, there's absolutely no reason why the Northwest Coast can't be a global leader in that respect. So from the outset, we've identified infection as a major theme for us. That's one of our major areas of interest, partly because there's a huge need, a huge health need. But partly because we looked around and we recognized that collectively across the Northwest Coast, there are some fantastic ingredients for success that are already in place. So we've made this issue of innovation in infection one of our priority areas. And as we've built upon that, we've added to it. So we are now part of a, for example, part of a, a national patient safety collaborative. And within that, we've got a major work stream around, around sepsis. So as far as the HSN is concerned, we've made a strong strategic commitment uh, towards driving or helping to drive innovation in this field. So today's meeting, what's it about? Well, it's about, um, I suppose, understanding the challenges. It's about some showcasing of things that are going on. Uh, it's around networking. It's around some one-to-one some -one meetings that are, that are set up. So I think today will be fun. In fact, I know it will be fun. 
The key question is what happens after it? What happens when the day is finished? And that's really down to you. So what I'm hoping is that when the day is finished, you'll all be enthused about what you've heard. But what would be really good would be if you were all individually to make a strong personal commitment towards making the Northwest Coast the go-to place for innovation in this field. And we can, during the day, talk about how best to take that forward. But it's that commitment beyond the event that's going to matter. So let's move on to the program. Um, the, uh, the, the, pro the programs I think you have in, 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 your, in your packs, um, th there are going to be one or two things that are going to be flexible, particularly th this afternoon. Um, uh, Liz Mia, who's the, the chief exec of the HSN, was going to come to talk about the, the, the Patient Safety Collaborative. So she, she can't come now. So we're going to adjust the timings this afternoon, possibly um, allow more time for, for industry, for, for partners to talk. Um, I've mentioned the fact that the sepsis work is a major part of the HSN's work stream for Patient Safety Collaborative, and of course would be happy to talk to people if they want to know more about that during the day. Um, so the topics all look very interesting. I'm absolutely certain that all the speakers are going to be excellent. Um, the rest is up to you. Uh, and I hope very much that you'll want to engage actively with this event, ask lots of questions, talk to lots of people, um, and get actively involved. M make it a great day. Um, make it a really exciting start to this journey. OK, so I'm going to ask uh, my co-chair for the morning, Professor Nigel Cunliffe, to say hello, and then we can move on to the speakers. Nigel. Thanks, John, and uh, good morning, everyone. I think you've just about covered everything there, John. So I'm uh, Nigel Cunliffe. I'm head of the Department of Clinical Infection, Microbiology and Immunology within the Institute of Infection and Global Health here in Liverpool, which is quite a mouthful. Um, I'm just looking out, I'm just thinking, wow. Um, and just would like to echo John's thoughts about thanking the organisers, in particular, Anitan and Patricia, who have done a fantastic job here. So uh, thank you very much. Um, so just very briefly, Liverpool's got a burgeoning reputation, really, in world-class infection research, uh, both across the Faculty of Health and Life Sciences, the Liverpool School of Tropical Medicine, partner NHS Trusts. Um, and I think, really, that today is a fantastic opportunity to showcase some of that wonderful infection uh, research, in particular our um, collaborations with industry. So very much looking forward to the day, in particular um, the uh, morning sessions coming up with some great science uh, speakers. So uh, very much looking forward to it. And I think without further ado, um, we shall crack on.